So hey everybody, this is James Outlaw Frags. I'm here with my good friend Russ, and we're gonna talk about one fragrance that is super close to my heart, that is an incredible cheapy, and one that is super expensive that was sent to me by a wonderful subscriber that to me I can't tell I can't tell the difference. From a cheap. From a cheap. Yeah, this is super cheap. Tattoo by Jean-Marc Paris. And here's the box, and you can see, hopefully, $9.99 is what I've, is this one mine, this one's yours. But I paid the same amount for it as, as what is on there. And then Bon Lafayette Street number nine was released last year, and it retails from Bond number nine at $380 a bottle. This is a partial that I got sent, there's 30 mil in there, it smells absolutely Wonderful. Um, we sprayed these. What about maybe five, five, ten minutes? So we're we're gonna let these sit for a second. That's gonna be our dry down, and he's gonna be my guinea pig because he just got this in his collection, kind of off of my recommendation. Yeah, that was one that we were going through smelling, um, and I really liked it. It's like, yeah, if you ever see that one, pick yeah, it up. Yeah, pick it up, because it's and it's a super wonderful. cheapy anyway, so, I mean, you're you're only out $10, and if, I know I didn't like it, and I did because I smelled it in your collection, but yeah, um, it, that was your recommendation to pick it up, and that just ended up being in my last haul video that we just did, so. And yeah, it, it is so inexpensive. Even if you bought this brand new at the store, if you didn't like it, I mean, if you really didn't have anybody to give it to, you could toss it. It's just 10 bucks. It is extremely cheap. The counterpart over here is not cheap. So right. let's... I mean, 380 380 bucks. I think it sells right now what I'm gonna for do is over just $200. For $300, $380 or even $200 What's the presentation like. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, it looks like a cardboard cutout. Um, even some of the, the more less expensive even have like a phone yeah. but this is just a cardboard cut out and it's got chrome around it yep and it still has the original um, paperwork yeah paperwork from when it was first purchased now I do like this part of the box because it looks like some sort of snake skin, snake skin and yeah, it's the, got the pattern and then it also the, goes on to the bottle yeah I like the the presentation is cool for what it is you know I have to be totally honest I would have never purchased this. This is so far out of the realm of financial decisions for me when it comes to uh, a fragrance, but I am extremely thankful for the person that sent this. You know who you are, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, it smells dead nuts on this, this like is, one of my favorite, favorite cheapies. This is about our line of, I think we agree, when we're looking for something new to experiment with. Yeah. This is about what you're looking for, and then you're amazed when you find some counterpart that's more expensive. Yeah. Um, that you can then say, hey, you know, you can save money by going with an alternative. Your alternative, and this one would be tattoo. Tattoo. And so, like, here's the opening for the bond number nine. And to me, when I went to the actual website to look up the notes for this, because this is not on, yeah, because it's not on Fragranica. It tattoo on Fragranica is by I believe the company that either Jean Marc Paris bought or vice versa. But uh, I went to the actual website and they say that there's a melon in the top of this. And when I look up the notes in Fragranica for this, there's no melon. But man. The top on this to me is dead nuts the same. It's got this strange, it's not strange, it's very. John Mark Parrish is, Parrish is also the one. I have two others from his line the blue. Yeah. Um, and noir. And noir. Noir and noir blue. And uh, this is actually a house out of Canada. But uh, there's tattoo. Tell me if you can. Because to me, it's, they're the same. The okay, out the gate. gate. This has something sharp in it. Yeah, and I don't pick it up. Which I don't pick up here. Do you smell the fruity quality that I'm referring to? 
I'm not sure what note you're you're picking up on is. Well, it's basically the entire yeah. head of the the fragrance. Because I, I kind of get this, this one is a little more sharper, and that one's a little more smoother. I so, don't know if it's but they what that note is similar. But out of let's see, percentage out of 100 percent, how close do you think those two are? I would hit around 85 ish. So Only because of I'm not sure what that is. That uh, sharp that note, note sharp that. note in that is is to my nose kind of distinct, and it sits off to the side. But once you get past that, they both go to the same thing. <laughs> Bless me, Lord Jesus. I'm gonna take that one. But yeah. And when you get to the dry down, is it more distinctive of both of them? Is that the melon? Is that what you're getting there? No, this is more into the dry down. The initial melon in the top. I, I smell in the, the open. I mean, it's still here. Like, I can tell this one. Yeah. We're, sitting, we're sitting here sniffing paper. And yeah, no shit. Like, what is this doing? <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. Because there's something in this one. But it's such a minute difference. It's not a huge difference. Well, here's a better way to put it. You smell both of them together. Yeah. Now that you know that this is a three hundred and eighty dollar bottle, and this is ten dollar bottle. Well, even we'll just go on on their website. It's seventy five bucks. So tell me, does this smell like three hundred and eighty dollars? Does this no. smell like eighty? No, they they quality wise, they smell the exact same. Yeah. I am so impressed with this tattoo. It's amazing because this is a really good scent. This uh, Lafayette. Street is really really good, and if you're interested in another person's take on it, go check out um, Redolescence review that he did with Carlos, and they talk about this one when it very first came out a couple. Of did months they talk ago. about both of them side by side? No, uh -uh, because I'm pretty sure that so Redolescence this and Carlos need to go back and, and buy this. These two, this is only ten bucks. <laughs> ten bucks. Look, you guys are not investing a lot it. if you already own this. So. Yeah. But uh, it's uh, it's a, an amazing coincidence, I think, that they're that, close. that they're that close, and especially I've had such an affectionate relationship with this tattoo for years that uh, you can find the same thing, or you know, for super cheap, for super cheap. Yeah, it's amazing. I really enjoy it. Let's take a look at the note listing for bond number nine. Is that they had no melon at all. Yeah, no melon at all. The top notes in bond number nine are bergamot, coriander, and flowers. It just it says that it just has a flower note in the top. The mid has um, ambroxan, green apple, and vanilla, and the base is woody notes, tonka bean, and ambergris. And there is hardly any of those notes. Well, actually, I don't think maybe vanilla is in this, if I think right. But other than that, that's the only note that they say that they have in common. But they smell amazingly close. You get that similar vibe. Yeah. I would really like to try to wear this one in the heat, because to me, this is wonderful in the heat. The hotter it gets, the more that melon note, that's what I want to call it, because I don't know exactly what to associate it with. So you're going to have to do it one hand, one hand. Yeah, in the heat. Because do it. This week, I think it's supposed to get back in the hundreds again. This yeah, to give it an opportunity. To, to do it, because then you can actually feel that projection, and you can actually tell. Yeah. Um, I know all last week, everything that we were, I was wearing was just like either monstrously projecting, or it like was Yeah, gone. gone because of the heat. So it was nice to see that in the triple digits. Well, I'm really glad to see that you got this. I hope you get as much enjoyment out of this as I have, because I absolutely love that fragrance. Because yeah. it is, it's unique. And like I said, in the heat, man, the hotter it gets, the more it makes that top note pop, and it doesn't burn off. That's one thing that I think you'll find really interesting yeah, about this. Yeah, is that uh, that top note, as the, the heat goes on and time goes on, it doesn't burn off. Which I, yeah, I, can, I can tell you this one's stronger when you compare these two. These were those are the openings. I believe are fresh openings. This one's a little bit stronger. I don't know how many sprays you did for each, but yeah, just a little bit. You know, I think.
think the real thing would be is once you get it on skin. Yeah, that's that's the real test. But that's kind of my take on these two, and I really wanted to share these with you because, like I said before, this one to me really hit it out of the park. I really enjoy this, and it is so cheap. It's ridiculous. Now I said they're really good. What what was your percentage of closeness? Cause For my different nose is like. Mine is, I'd still consider an immature nose. I'm still trying to pick out different nose and stuff like that. For your nose, what are you saying closeness wise? For me, when I smell them, the top is probably 95% the same. You know, I kind of smell that sharp note that you're talking about, you know, in this one, in the bond number nine. It's not as pronounced to my palate, but it's there. But uh, to me, they're super close for what they are. To the point, like, uh, I was shocked. When I smelled this the first time, I was like, "So you're always looking for an additional bottle of tattoo?" Well, I have two. Save your <laughs> your bond number nine, right? Yeah, I have two of these because they're well worth it. Like I I've, I've told this story before that when I got the first bottle, I liked it so much that I went all the way back around to all the Rosses until I could find another one because I liked it that much. And that falls right in the same category. I like it that much. And this is now my third John Mark Paris and my first tattoo. So. Yeah. Do you, you don't have any tattoos, tattoos, do you? you have tattoos? Tattoos, tattoos, like ink tattoos. Yeah, like yeah. tattoos. tattoos. <laughs> so there you go. But tattoos for I tattoos. have a shirt and tie <laughs> type job right now, so this is what you get. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wanted to share that with you, and I had my friend here, so I wanted to make sure that he was part of this, because he, like we have just said, he just got his bottle. It's his. And I'm enjoying it. Yes. So with all that being said, remember there is no bad time to smell good and both of these fragrances smell great and we will see you on the next one.